Hello and welcome to CARSP Search Explained. In this video, we want to give you an introduction to our web service. The first and most important question we will discuss is, what is CARSP Search? We will also look at how the web service can be used and what data the web service works with. CARSP Search enables you to search single historical letters from different editions. In earlier centuries, Editions of letters were published only in printed form. This had the disadvantage that it costed a lot of time to search and find individual letters, or even to know about their existence. Because of this, it was difficult for researchers of other disciplines to have access to these sources. Now, however, developments in digitalization increase the possibility to publish and find research results. Research is becoming more accessible for researchers themselves, as is already evident in the amount of digital portals and search engines, the number of which is constantly growing while also being developed further and further. Nevertheless, there are still some problems with editions, many of which are still only available in printed form. They are available as complete editions or scattered selective editions, monographs, or are only found in individual essays. As a result, the correspondence of lesser-known individuals in particular is often difficult to find, and even if letter editions are digitized, they can be uploaded to a wide variety of platforms and sites on the internet. This makes them more difficult to find, or even almost invisible, due to the sheer mass of platforms. This is exactly what CARSearch was developed for. The name is a combination of the words correspondence and search. The web surface is developed at the Berlin Brandenburg Academy of Sciences and Humanities by the Telota Working Group and is funded by the German Research Foundation. The service is available for use free of charge to all interested parties. CARSP Search is designed to help you search letter editions using correspondence metadata. For example, information on the sender, the recipients, the place, or date when the search letter was written. This can be illustrated by a short example, which is set in October 1806 when Napoleon Bonaparte marched into Berlin, an event that naturally preoccupied many contemporaries at the time and was therefore the subject of countless correspondences. For researchers, it is incredibly cumbersome to find all the letters related to this event. This is due to the sheer mass of letters and also the fact that editions of letters normally focus on just one person or the correspondence between two people. In this situation, it would be necessary to read through all editions to get access to the excerpts and information because editions of letters so far are unfortunately only islands of whose existence, location, and quality one must have knowledge of to be able to consult them at all. With CARF Search, we now have the opportunity to search using a specific regional location or other data and thereby find the desired text excerpts much quicker. In our case, it would be the location of Berlin and all the days and weeks after the 27th of October, 1806. This is how we find, among other things, a letter from writer Friedrich Buchholz, who wrote to Johann Friedrich Kota on the 8th of November, 1806. In this letter, Buchholz describes that the city has gotten off lightly so far, and that Napoleon has been living in the Berlin Palace since two weeks. We also come across this letter from writer Rachel van Hagen, which she addressed to Ludwig Robert in Paris, and in which she assures him that she would be fine, and that he should not leave his city. Both letters can thus be found through the parameters of place and time and are interconnected although the two persons did not correspond with each other and the letters are not present in the same anthology. This interconnectedness, which otherwise would have to be tediously worked out, becomes visible through CARS search. And with CARS search, one can also check in advance whether there are other interesting letters from the same person or the same time frame, and therefore also possibly about the same event. It is important to mention, however, that the texts of the letters themselves are not in CARS search. The web service, however, indicates where to find the letters so that one can look them up in their respective edition. In the case of digital editions, this is done via links. This then takes users directly to the corresponding page. 
An important aspect here is the metadata already mentioned. Because of the metadata, the web service is able to traverse all forms of additions. The information is stored independently of addition in course of search. A search on the web service is not limited to a topic or time. However, additions have to fulfill certain academic criteria. The database of course of search is continuously expanded. It is possible that an addition is not found here yet. This is where you can start and contribute the missing pieces. Data about the letters can theoretically be contributed by every person at every project via the CMIF creator. We will show you in another video how exactly this works. Further knowledge is not necessary. If you have any questions or problems, we will be happy to help you. The collected metadata from the editions and the institutions are available in keeping with open access principles. They can be freely accessed via technical interface. Through this, they could be used for historical network analysis, for example. This concludes this short introductory video. We hope you enjoyed it and that it will help you understand our web service. Please feel free to watch our other videos. We hope that you have fun and success working with Karsp Search.